What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to add and subtract decibel numbers. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at our green chili challenge. We can see we have an addition question and I'm going to be adding 34.1 or in other words 34 and 1 tenth to 124.52 or in other words 124 and 52 one hundredths. And the method we're going to use today is column method. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my column titles in place, which includes ones and tens, and I also have hundreds with this one here. But now I have things after the decimal as well, so I'm going to put my decimal point, and I'm going to have a tenths column and a hundredths column. Now I'm ready to start populating my columns. And the first one I have 34.1. So 34.1 is made up of three tens, four ones, put my decimal, and one tenth. And my next number is 124.52, so 100, two tens, four ones, my decimal back, five tenths, and two hundredths. Now, if we can look at the top, it says remember to fill any gaps with placeholders. And I can see I have a gap here, and I have a gap just here. And a placeholder is just a zero that's going to hold no value. It's not going to change the value of my 34.1, but it just tidies up our grid and means I'm less likely to make any mistakes. This is not so important with addition, but we're going to see why it's super important for subtraction in a minute. And now I'm ready to begin. All I'm going to do is put my answer row in place, make sure I have my addition sign, and I'm ready to begin, starting in my smallest value, which in this case is one hundredths. So zero hundredths added to two hundredths is two hundredths. Then in the tenths column, I have one and five, which is six. Make sure I put my decimal back, that's really important. And then in my ones column, four and four is eight. Tenths column, three and two is five. And my hundreds column, zero and one is one. So my answer to 34.1 added to 124.52 is 158.62. A couple of things to remember, always fill in our placeholders and make sure we put my decimal back at the end as well. Okay, let's turn this up then and let's look at a subtraction and see why it's so important to use placeholders. So again, I'm going to start by putting my column titles, ones, tens, and in this case I just need tenths and one hundredths. And I'm ready to start populating my columns, 24.43, two tens, four ones, point four tenths, three hundredths, and then 3.55, three ones, point five, five. Now I can put my answer row, subtraction, and I'm ready to begin. But again, remember, fill any gaps with placeholders. I can see I have a gap just here, and I'm gonna populate it with a zero. And again, I'm gonna start my question with the smallest value, which in this case is my hundredths, 3 subtract 5. Well, if I have 3, I cannot take 5 away, so I'm going to have to look next door and see that I have a 4, borrow from the 4, turning it down to a 3, and borrowing a whole 1 in the hundredths column. Now I have 13 subtract 5. 13 subtract 5 is 8. 3 subtract 5 I can't do. Look next door again. 13 subtract 5 is 8. Put back my decimal. Now I have 3 subtract 3 is 0 and two subtract zero is two. So my answer to 24.43 subtract 3.55 is 20.88. Now let's see how hard this can get with a red chili challenge. I'm gonna start with my column titles, ones, tens, and this time I need tenths, hundredths, and I'm gonna need thousandths. Let's begin. 35.3 is 35.3. 9.009. Now, when we have such different numbers like this, I have three digits over here, and four digits over here, but I have three digits after the decimal and only one digit after the decimal. One thing we can do to always make sure we've done everything correct is make sure when we line it up that our decimals are all in line, which in this case they are. That's a good way of knowing that we've put things in the right place. But now you can see I have one, two, three gaps that are gonna need placeholders. So let's put those placeholders in place. One, two, three. And now we can see what I'm talking about when we put our answer row 
uh, subtraction. With my first question, I have zero subtract nine. Well, imagine if we didn't have this placeholder, I might be inclined to just put a nine in my answer column because there's nothing else here. So it just looks like I just need to drag that nine down. But when I put my placeholder in place, we can see that the question now clearly says zero subtract nine. And zero subtract nine is very different to just saying nine. Zero subtract nine I can't do, so let's look next door. But there's nothing next door, so he has to look next door again. And I've got a three. Turn the three down to a two. Make this column a 10. Now let's start again. Looking at my smallest value, the thousands column, zero subtract nine. I can't do that. But now when I look next door, I can see this 10 that he's putting down to a nine borrowing the one across. Now I think I'm ready to actually begin and I have 10 subtract nine, which is one. Very different answer to the nine that I might have put at the start. Next smallest column is my hundredths. Nine subtract zero is nine. In the tenths column, two subtract zero is two. Put back my decimal. Five subtract nine I can't do. Look next door. 15 subtract nine is six. Two subtract zero is two. So my answer to 35.3 subtract 9.009, 26.291. Okay, now it's your turn. Here are two challenges, an addition and a subtraction. The subtraction is the red chili challenge because that's gonna need you to use some placeholders that are actually gonna be really important. So press pause on the video now, have a go at answering these two questions, good luck. And there you have it. That is how to add and subtract decibel numbers. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it was, join us over at themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more questions, where you're gonna find loads more videos that are gonna help you with everything you need to know about your age group maths. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.